Let's talk reverb. We're gonna focus on vocals for now. Typically with vocals, I like to use two reverbs, one being short and the other being long. So let's add up a room reverb, just give it a nice slap and a little bit of dimension, all right? So on my vocal channel, I'm gonna to go to the sends, which is just gonna send a duplicate signal somewhere else. And we're gonna pick new track. Let's call it room and we're gonna create a stereo aux. All right, awesome. Let's add a basic reverb, like the R verb for now. All right, for the algorithm, we're going to pick room and we'll have a nice short time on it. We ain't getting out of line. In person, they gas me a letter. On the net, they been nagging up pump fade. You don't know I got a man on the... Okay, and then let's turn that down. Reverb is definitely something you should feel, not hear, a lot of the time. We ain't getting out of line. In person, they gas me a letter. On the net, they been nagging up pump Awesome, and that's just gonna add a little bit of dimension, a little bit of glue, a little bit of slap, just a nice short room reverb, all right? Now, let's do a longer reverb. And for hip hop, I usually like chamber. So let's do chamber, stereo aux. Let's use the R verb again, all right? So let's pick a chamber here. And we have a built-in EQ, which is very nice. Very good to cut out the lows in your reverbs a lot of the time, because it's just gonna muddy up your mix. All right, let's add some pre-delay. That's gonna separate the onset of the reverb to give the vocals a little bit more space. And let's make this a little bit longer. Okay, let's take a listen to that. We ain't getting out of line. In person, they gas me a letter. On the net, they been nagging up pump fade. You don't know I got a man on the inside. New flip. And a good way to get a sense of the reverb is just hit stop and listen to the decay. And you're gonna get a good idea right there. Or you can make your sense pre-fader and then mute your vocal to just listen to the reverb, which is very useful. We ain't getting that. Awesome. Now you're getting an idea of what's going on in the background. We ain't getting out of line. In person, they gas me a letter. On the net, they've been nagging up pump fade. You don't know I got a man on the inside. News flash, she's gonna give me little updates. I thought you was riding. And it's very subtle, but that's kind of the point, you know? I don't want a long, booming, echoing reverb on a quick hip hop song. I just want a little bit of dimension, a little bit of 3D, and that's it. A nice chamber, a nice room. Now, if I was doing a pop song or an indie type mix, maybe something different where there's more singing. I'd probably pick a plate reverb, but if it sounds good, it is good. That's definitely all that matters. All right, so now for a delay, let's do that. We're gonna go new track, go delay. All right, let's use the H delay, great choice. Make sure you turn off the analog knob, it's very noisy. Let's go quarter note, maybe some lo-fi. Now that's just gonna keep echoing, right? That's definitely not what I want. So here's a cool little hack. So let's put a compressor on it. And let's feed the side chain input with a bus that's gonna feed right off the vocals. So I'm gonna send the vocals to the side chain input of this compressor. So the compressor pays attention to the vocals and not what's on the track. So when the vocals are active, it's going to duck the delay. And then when the vocal stops, it's going to open up and let it breathe, which is very useful. All right, let's make a very aggressive attack. We ain't getting out of line. Getting out of line. Getting out of line. All right, and let's use a lot of these. Just for teaching purposes. For the day, but the team still pay. Or they still fucking with me, K. Mom hit sideline J's. Time my brace. Boys send me up, try stack. They team said, fuck your trade. Little plumber kitchen trade. Little plumber kitchen trade. Little plumber kitchen trade. Little plumber kitchen trade. And there you go. The vocal stops, it opens up, it echoes out. Now, that's not gonna work in every scenario. Sometimes it might be messy. It is kind of the lazy person's way. Let me show you two different ways you can do it. All right, so another way is you can just use send automation. So to do that, we're gonna go on the vocal channel here. Go to delay on the automation lane, go to level. All right, we're gonna turn that all the way down. And then we're just gonna draw on that automation. So we're gonna command click, command click, and drag. There you go, beautifully easy, that's a great way. Another way I really like to do it, and this is actually my favorite way, is you can just make a duplicate audio channel and put the delay directly on it. And what's really cool about this technique is I can just drag down the audio on the audio track with the delay and have it echo that way. Control option. And there you go. That way is really nice because then I can literally just echo anything I want super quickly by dragging down the audio. And that's it, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Take care.